Hey viewers, today we will discuss about the pharmacology of mesoprostol, which is basically a synthetic prostaglandin E1 analog, and used in the treatment of NSAID-induced ulcer. But before moving towards our topic, let's have a brief review about prostaglandins, as this will help you to easily understand the pharmacology of mesoprostol. Prostaglandins are basically unsaturated fatty acid derivatives containing 20 carbon in a cyclic ring structure and are produced at cellular levels by the breakdown of phospholipids of lipid bilayer of cell membrane. The enzyme phospholipase A2 helps break down the phospholipid bilayer and create arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid then divided into two main pathways, the lipooxygenase pathways and cyclooxygenase pathway. But here we just focus on cyclooxygenase pathway. In this pathway, arachidonic acid is converted by an enzyme called cyclooxygenase into prostaglandins. And these prostaglandins play an important role in the regulation of gastric acidity, platelet aggregation and renal blood flow. So now if we talk about the pharmacology of mesoprostol, which is basically a synthetic analog of prostaglandin E1. Mesoprostol bind to the EP3 receptor on the parietal cell of stomach and stimulate the GI protein coupled receptor pathway and thereby decreasing the intracellular cyclic AMP and gastric acid secretion. It also prevents gastric injury by cytoprotective effect that includes stimulation of mucin, bicarbonate secretion and increased mucosal blood flow. Since non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs reduce prostaglandin formation by inhibiting the cyclooxygenase enzyme, so, the synthetic prostaglandin analogs offer a logical approach to reduce NSAID-induced mucosal damage. The degree of inhibition of gastric acid secretion by mesoprostol is directly related to dose. An oral dose of 100 to 200 microgram significantly inhibit basal acid secretion and food-stimulated acid secretion. The usual recommended dose of mesoprostol for ulcer prophylaxis is 200 microgram four times a day. Let's now discuss about the pharmacokinetics of mesoprostol. Mesoprostol can be administered orally as a tablet, sublingually, vaginally, and rectally. Mesoprostol is rapidly absorbed after oral administration and then rapidly deestrified to form mesoprotol acid, which is basically the principal and active metabolite of the drug. Food and ant acid decrease the rate of mesoprostol absorption, resulting in decreased and delayed peak plasma concentration of active metabolite. The free acid is excreted mainly in urine with elimination half-life of about 20 to 40 minutes. Mesoprostol is indicated in the treatment and prevention of gastric and duodenal ulcer and also used in prophylaxis and treatment of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs induced ulcer. Mesoprostol is also used off-label in obstetric settings for labor induction since it increased the uterine contraction by interacting with the prostaglandin receptor in the uterus. Common side effects of mesoprostol includes stomach pain, low stools, nausea and vomiting, vagina bleeding, and uterine contraction. Mesoprostol has the potential risk to induce abortion in pregnant women, so this drug is contraindicated in pregnancy. So that's all for today. Hope you like this video. For more cool content about pharmacology and medicine, Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel Pharmacy D. Thank you.